Good morning and welcome to South Bay. My name is Brad Dumont. I'm the Managing Director for Edens in Boston. Um, I'm so happy to have everyone here today and I'm proud to welcome you to the new expansion of the South Bay um, project and inside our AMC Cinema. And one of my proudest moments actually was opening this AMC Cinema this past year. Uh, we had a very great event uh, to capitalize a long year of construction. Um, I was standing up here, uh, the mayor was here, and Bill Richard of the Martin Richard Foundation and Bob Scannell of the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester, and we were able to celebrate having 400 inner city kids here to come see the Star Wars movie and make them feel like a movie star for a night. Uh, it was just one of those uh, most prideful moments of my life. And we were also able to raise over $50,000 for the um, Martin Richard Memorial Fieldhouse, uh, which is a project that will be coming in the next couple of years. We're very excited about. Um, but we're here today for another reason, one of gratitude and appreciation. And right where you stand today, um, this looks very different than it did a few years ago. We've been able to accomplish a lot over the past five or six years, and that doesn't happen without a lot of great partnerships. And so with that, I'd like to start off by recognizing our elected officials that are here. Uh, Governor Baker, thank you for being here. Uh, Mayor Walsh, thank you. Uh, Councillor Baker and Councillor Sabi George, thank you very much for being here, for all your support to make this project a reality. You know, many parts of Dorchester have been overlooked, and I think with this project and with the, the expansion of bringing in 500 um, residential units and a movie theater and restaurants, we're really going to be able to shed a light on what this neighborhood has to offer. This will be, at the end of the day, one of Boston's largest mixed-use uh, projects in Boston's largest neighborhood. So the p potential that, from Eden's standpoint that we see is very exciting. However, large mixed-use projects like this cannot work without a lot of collaboration. This investment exemplifies the successful public-private partnership between the Commonwealth, the City of Boston, and Edens. And at the end of the day, you know, none of this really happens, and I'm certainly not standing up here if it wasn't for the vi vision and leadership uh, behind me. And with that, I'd like to officially welcome Jody McLean, CEO of Edens, who is the person really with the vision and the courage to make this project a reality. So with that, Jody. Okay. Thank you, Brad. Good morning and welcome, everyone. What an honor it is to be standing here in Dorchester. Again, we love Dorchester. With all of you, Governor Baker and Mayor Walsh. Eden's purpose is to enrich community through routine human engagement. And through this, we hope to inspire inclusive prosperity, where opportunity and benefits of economic growth are widely shared by all segments of society. We hope that it is exactly what South Bay can inspire here in Dorchester and throughout all of Boston. To echo Brad, I'd like to thank the most popular governor in the country, our great mayor, Mayor Walsh, um, and our representatives of the council who have been so supportive over the last 10 years that we've been here, as well as the MassWorks infrastructure team. We cannot have inclusive prosperity without job creation, workforce housing, transportation, and community integration. The MassWorks program is such an important resource to support much needed housing production, economic development, and job creation in communities like Dorchester and across the Commonwealth. This grant opens up incredible opportunities for the residents of the Dorchester neighborhood and creates jobs and homes for hundreds of local residents as this project progresses. Through our partnership with MassWorks, we are building a foundation for long-term strength and sustainability in the Dorchester community. By creating a walkable mixed-use project that is integrated with this dynamic community while providing additional workforce housing. Of the 475 apartments at South Bay, 62 will be on-site affordable units, and our team is actively working on other projects in the Commonwealth that will increase the amount of workforce housing Edens is responsible for. Outside of housing, by completion, this project will also provide 
450 new permanent jobs and over 1,600 construction jobs. Additionally, $5 million in net new annual tax revenues, over $2 million in community cash contributions, and over $7 million in new infrastructure installations will be contributed to this great community, city, and commonwealth. Edens now has not doubled down, we've tripled down its investment of financial capital, human capital, and most importantly, emotional capital to Dorchester and the entire South Bay community. That being said, no developer can be successful in inspiring inclusive prosperity without strong partnerships with public partners. South Bay is a large undertaking for any private developer and would not be possible without the support of the mayor, the governor, and each of you. Edens has worked in 20 different states throughout this country, and rarely have we been able to participate in a partnership like that between the Governor Baker and Mayor Walsh, a partnership that inspires all stakeholders to work together to create strong cities, communities, and an entire commonwealth, where existing businesses can flourish, where new jobs are being created, where housing will be attractive to a wide range of social economic groups, and where innovation can thrive across many different business sectors. And this is why Edens and so many others have continued to make large investments in this area. So we're excited to continue to work with you, and it's my honor to introduce a mayor like ours, great mayors who are transformative results in education, innovative thinking, and driving Boston to be a resilient city that are causing our kids to answer mayor when asked, what do you want to do when you grow up? So that, Mayor Welsh. Thank you. thank you very much, Jody. And uh, Brad, I want to thank you as well. Uh, it's great to be here today. Uh, again, um, I want to give a, a special shout out to uh, City Council Frank Baker and Nisha Sabi George, who know this area really well. Um, both, uh, both of them, all actually, all three of us were involved in the Civic Association before we got into public life. And I remember when, when this when this was being built here, South Bay, there was a lot of questions about why would they want to build a mall in the South Bay? It's a kind of a wasteland. It's a dead area. Nothing will happen here. And and they put in about six stores. I think the first first phase was six stores, and then a couple of years later, I think Anissa might have been the Civic President when Olive Garden came in here and Applebee's came in here. Uh, and, and then we're, we're working to see where we are today, and it's incredible uh, to see a partnership here in the Dorchester neighborhood. Uh, I was talking to Frank earlier. I said we, 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 we're deeming the St. Margaret's Parish. Those of you that are writing stuff down, St. Margaret's Parish, uh, we're going to steal it just in case it's not. Uh, but I also want to thank the governor. Um, when this project was moving forward, um, when this project was going forward, Frank, Frank called me up and he said, you know, there's going to be a Mass Works infrastructure grants that the state's given out and would love to see one come to South Bay uh, because of, of the investment that's being made here. And there was many, many conversations with the community, uh, with the Boston Street neighborhood and, the, and, the, and the, 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 the McCormick Civic Association neighborhood, as well as the South End neighborhood. And I called the governor and, and I said, Gov, you know, anything we could do here would be extremely helpful. And he said, let me look into it. Let me see what we can do. Uh, there's a lot of applicants. We have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people looking for resources and money. And what I think sold them on this project was when I said it's a trans-oriented development. It's probably the biggest one we've ever had in Dorchester. And it's a way to get our commuter rail stops and stations up and running, as well as buses on Mass Ave. And he said, Let, let's see what happens. And he called me up a few weeks later and said, you know, you, you'll be happy next week when the awards come out. So, Governor, I want to thank you for, for, for this project, but also the other projects in the city of Boston uh, that you helped fund this year. Uh, this is a grant of $1.2 million for the in infrastructure project. Uh, this project broke ground in 2016. Uh, well, there's been a lot of partners here. I want to thank Edens. I want to thank the Boston Planning and Development Agency. I want to thank the Building Trades. I want to thank the Pipe Fitters, quite honestly. They're doing a project right out the gate here, which was planned uh, at the same time this was being planned. So it's not part of this project, but if you go out the back here, uh, Allstate Road, you will see it looks like it's all one development. And there's a lot of great things happening in this particular neighborhood. Uh, it shows the vibrancy of South Bay. And South Bay actually connects Boston. It connects the South End uh, and Melina Cass Boulevard, where a lot of people talk about in a negative way, to Dorchester and to South Boston and to the highway. So it's great to see some great things here. When this project is finished, 10.6 acres of trans-oriented mixed-use development. 
Uh, it was already told that the, the amount of housing units are going to be here, uh, 62 affordable on site, uh, restaurants, retail shops, commercial space, a new hotel, obviously the movie theater here. Uh, you see the Nike store downstairs. I think I saw a loft coming here as well and a whole bunch of other stores. So it's great to see the amenities here in, in our communities uh, to allow the Dorchester, to Roxbury, Mattapan, uh, South Boston, South End communities to really be able to have, have a, a center point right here in, in Dorchester. So I'm excited about that. This project also brings critical infrastructure uh, and public safety improvements to this neighborhood. Um, ever since the highway, when the big dig came, uh, the off-ramp out here got closed down, and it kind of closed this neighborhood in. And, and what's happening, this money is going to connect the entire community to this project to allow people easy access into this neighborhood. So the, the, this $1.2 million is going an awful long way uh, to help with traffic circulation, uh, help with surface road improvements, help with uh, walk, walk and, and bicycle friendly pedestrian access as well to this site. So again, I'm excited about that. Uh, every time I drive by South Bay, it's great to see the changes happening here. Uh, and again, I want to thank the state for their support in this project. This truly was a public-private uh, partnership. Public when it comes to the state and the city working together along with private industry and private development with Edens. Thank you very much. The contractors that are working on this side, I want to thank them as well. Uh, again, I want to thank everyone for all the support. Uh, it's my honor now to introduce uh, the governor, and everyone kindly jokes about our relationship, but it is important to have a strong relationship with the state uh, and to make sure we continue to work together. And I think that this is another project that proves that when the state and city work together, uh, how it benefits the entire Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Because not just will we have 475 new people living here, residences living here, families living here, we're also going to have thousands of new people working here uh, and getting an opportunity to raise their family, uh, pay, pay their income tax, and be part, of, be part of society. So without further ado, I'd like to bring up the Governor of the Commonwealth, Charlie Baker. names on that. Um, <laughs> let me just start first of all by thanking you all for being here and, and I do want to congratulate Edens and, and the city. This is one of three grants that the city won uh, in the last round of MassWorks funding which uh, they, they received about seven and a half million dollars. Three projects uh, of which this was one and Juan Vegas here from HED who's one of the guys who oversees this program and um, MassWorks is probably the most flexible tool the Commonwealth has to support economic development, downtown development, and housing development. And what makes it flexible is its ability to solve a number of problems and to be sort of the final stitch on a variety of development initiatives uh, to get them over the line and make them work. And, uh, and because of that flexibility, we've significantly expanded the state's investment in MassWorks over the course of the past three years. We view it as one of the best and most important tools we can use to help communities uh, help themselves. And, um, and despite the fact that we significantly expanded support for the program, Juan will be the first to tell you that it's a really competitive program. Um, the program bids we get uh, are terrific, and in many cases we end up having conversations with communities where we say, you know what, we understand what you're trying to do, but this thing really isn't ready yet. Uh, if you do the following kinds of things and come back next year, we think you'll be in a much better place to get it done uh, when you come back and take a second shot at it. And, um, and those conversations actually help us get smarter about what communities are trying to do and help communities in some cases get smarter about how we can help them. And in this particular case, and it's already been said, you have a developer who's already proven that they can work this site and work it effectively. Uh, it's a site that has tremendous proximity, but issues with respect to access. It's a site that serves three different neighborhoods in the city of Boston. Uh, when it's completed, it will have a major public transportation-oriented development feel to it. It's a big mixed-use development, probably the biggest uh, in Dorchester ever, I think. And uh, for a relatively small investment in the grand scheme of what MassWorks is all about, about $1.3 million, uh, it knits together this final um, access and utility piece to a $200 million development with all the right elements associated with what 
we worry about. Transit-oriented development, um, key community as part of the city, opportunity to link three neighborhoods to a major mixed-use initiative, and it's being done by a group of people who've already proven they know how to get it done. Um, we are very pleased to be here uh, to make this award and celebrate this project, but what we're really excited about is the opportunity this particular project will have uh, to continue to expand on all the good work that's been done in this neighborhood and to dramatically expand the neighborhood's ability to access transit-oriented development when it's completed. So we're very excited about this. We congratulate Edens, we congratulate the city. Um, and, if, and if Nick Collins and, and Sonia Chang-Diaz were here, I'd be perfectly happy to congratulate them, but they're not. Um, so uh, to those who have been part of this, uh, we really look forward to seeing this move forward. It's a tremendous project with tremendous uh, opportunity to help not only this neighborhood, but the city as well. Thank you. And Mayor? Thank you, Governor. So with that, I, I'd, I'd love for, if Councillor Baker uh, would like to come up and speak, I, I'd just like to say that Councillor Baker and, and Councillor Sabi George have, have obviously been working on South Bay for a long time, but especially as it, in the throes of figuring out exactly what this project was going to look and feel like. Um, they were great partners, and we wouldn't be here today without them. So with that, I'd like to introduce Councilor Baker. Thank you, Brad. <clears throat> Thank you, everybody, and, and most especially the governor and the mayor. This wouldn't happen without the relationships. Basically, the governor controls the money. The mayor has a relationship with him. I have a relationship with the mayor, so I pressured the mayor. He pressured up, and that's what happened. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> it's not exactly. But, yeah. In layman's terms. So when we were growing up in Dorchester, like Marty had said, in St. Margaret's Parish, we had three movie theaters that we were able to walk to or we would sneak on the train and then take the train to it. Um, one of the things that when I first saw this project, Keith came, I think it was about six years ago, we started talking about this project. And, and I had to get my head around it first. And what was appealing to me was the fact that it was built so close to a dense neighborhood and, and the people that are in that neighborhood over there could actually walk to this, to this um, project and, and, and get a glass of wine, have dinner, go to a movie, you know, whatever you need to do here. Th these are the types of things that when people are moving into the city, we need to provide amenities for the, for the people. There's a lot of new people that are coming into our neighborhoods. The older people, um, they still want to drive their vehicles and it, and it was very, very difficult getting those, <clears throat> not older people, but the people from, from the community to understand that this was a good thing for us, that this was gonna provide something to us that we hadn't had in years. And I just wanted to, to thank uh, Brad and Keith for, for having the resiliency and going through what we went through. Uh, uh, we issued them uh, battle helmets when we first started going, <laughs> starting this, this, this project. And also the team from the BR, BDPA, they don't get enough credit. They were really, really great during this. Raul was great, Mike was great. And everybody, everybody that touched this project believed in it. And um, to, to bring it from where we were, I used to drive my bike in and around here. Um, you know, it, it, and it was, like, like the mayor had said, it was a no man's land. There was nothing at all here. And to be able to, to look at it now and to see the vibrancy that's gonna be, I'm, I'm a big high Hawaii type of guy. I hope there's gonna be a lot of high Hawaii down there in this, in this square down here. People just getting to know each other and, 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 and you know, as, we, as we're living together on top of each other, it's, it's, it's better to be connected than disconnected. So I, I, I'm hoping that this, that this project, as it, as it, you know, as the residential units come online. I hope that this is a project that really knits together these neighborhoods that are around it, and I think it will. And Jody, thank you for taking a chance on us. It's been years of people telling us that, um, you know, Dorchester might be a difficult area, um, but thank you for taking the, the, the chance on us, and I appreciate that. So, thank you. So I just wanted to, to wrap up here and just thank everyone for being here. Uh, this is a special moment, and, and this 
uh, contribution in this grant will, will really be helpful uh, to this project. And we can't wait to get started uh, this spring on building. Where the funds are going to be going to the Boston Bypass Road, which will be a road that connects the frontage road all the way to Mass Ave. So now people getting off the highway do not have to hit Boston Street, which is a really important thing for not only this project, but for the community. Uh, so we're really excited to bring that to fruition this year. And there's a lot of exciting things to come. So stay tuned, and uh, thank you all for being here.